Namaskar, I'm Yogita Chingan and today I will be taking you all on a musical journey to the heart of India. Saat Sur, meaning playing the seven musical notes together, is a musical instrument inspired by the Indian classical instrument Jal Tarang. This ancient percussion instrument consists of set of 22 ceramic bowls and a pair of mallets. Vibrations in the water create a resonating sound. My capstone project is a composition of seven ceramic water-filled bowls of gradated sizes. The circular arrangement of the bowls allow multiple people from children to adults to create music together and connect without words. Just sound. Saat Sur stands strong on four pillars that teach us to value everything around us. I looked into existing musical instruments and installations to understand how people interact with each other through the medium of music. Taking inspiration from waves in water and other natural forms, I sketched a range of bowls that focused on form, scale and composition. To get a greater understanding of how Jal Tarang works, I gathered bowls of different shapes, sizes and thicknesses which were either bisced or glazed at varying firing temperatures. My research into Jal Tarang was supported by my masters Sarang and Amer who had expertise in the field of design and music. I learned how the instrument gets tuned with water, different ways of playing or hitting the bowls, and testing out mallets made of different materials, thicknesses and lengths. Through this exploration, I learned that bowls with a narrow opening or without a curvature tend to hinder the vibrations in water. The amount of water has to be monitored very carefully in order to tune the bowls. The bowls should be kept on a soft base that do not stop the vibrations. Thin wooden mallets create better sound than plastic and metal. And bowls fired at 100 degrees Celsius sounded better due to their porosity ratio. Based on my research, I moved towards 3D exploration and made bowls that experimented with the form, composition, sound and tuning. These bowls were glazed and fired at 100 degrees Celsius to unify the sound quality. I then tested these bowls to see how the instrument sounded and understand how people interact with it. I carefully observed how people were sitting and the way they were holding the mallets. I also poured colored water in a whip cure and gradient formation to see if people can associate color with a particular musical note. My users were unable to associate the rainbow colors with a particular wavelength of sound. For them, it was easier to relate a musical note to shades of the same color. The bowls that were successful in terms of sound were the ones that had the least contact with the surface under me. Having a thin rim made the sound crisp and adding a texture to the exterior of the bowls was another way of incorporating a playful musical element. What connects us to an instrument is the ability of producing a melody. To achieve that, it was important for me to build a strong relationship between form and sound. To do so, the instrument is simplified to seven bowls indicating the seven notes or saat sur of the musical scale in Indian classical music. The shades of blue helps the user understand the depth of the sound and the glaze indicates the level for filling the water and tuning the bowls. This lets the user discover the instrument without needing to know the technicalities of it. As I mentioned earlier, it is important for percussion instruments to be kept on a base that do not hinder the vibrations. I started by sketching out ideas for the base and further learned how the bowls can be placed on the rings for the user to play comfortably. The bamboo rings do not stop the vibrations and makes it easy for the user to place the bowls and move them around on the surface. Saat Sur was made with the help of skillful local artisans in an attempt to instill Indian traditions into the instrument. Music is a universal language that transcends culture and religious boundaries. Saat Sur helps people to overcome physical distance and the feeling of isolation by bringing everyone together to kindle their musical imagination. <laughs>